Good morning and welcome to another video. And today is gonna be horrible. I'm scared, I'm terrified, because I ventured up north to hang out with my best friend slash ex-lover, Eddie Hall. Ex? Cut, well, I'm trying to... Oh, sorry, for your message, yeah, yeah. sorry, okay. Yeah, ex, ex lover. not Corinth. Yeah. Those things, you good? Yeah, good, man. Yeah? Not too bad. This is a... Re Eddie's house, I've only seen this bit, this is ridiculous, as if. What even is this? It's like a clinic, his house is like a hospital. <laughs> well, I say it's gonna suck, right, because, I mean it is, I'm gonna be, I wanted to experience your life, right? Okay. So obviously your current, just ridiculous, crazy boxing regime. Uh -huh. Like, you're an absolute psycho, yeah. like, as if, like this, like he's doing just mad, like he, he outlined his day to me yesterday and it was just an absolute, just what, as if. As if, this is about 15 weeks of my my life just compressed into one day. So, I mean, you'll see as we go. Give me like a real brief outline of what's going to be Brief going outline. Down. So, I mean, it's just, just got 8 a.m. So, I've just had my vitamins and stuff. So, we're going to go for a run. Now, I run with a weighted vest. So, we do a mile and a half. So, we get, either I can wear it, you can wear it, or we do half each. How, how far, like, what kind of pet, like, nice and easy? How far are you running? A mile, mile and a half. Uh, so, we can power walk it. Because trust me, it's tough. I know, I know. So I we can power walk it and then we run on the straights. So we'll probably walk and run, so for today we'll walk and run 50-50. Yeah, that's good, that sounds that good. Sense. So this yeah. is the weighted vest. Excellent, yeah. Yeah. I mean, my cardio is great, so I need it to be harder, that's what I do. If anything. If anything, give me another stuff. Another give me another weighted vest. Okay. That's ridiculous. My, like, I'm gonna, even just jogging one and a half miles, I'm gonna be yeah. Okay. I don't need an additional weight. Same here. Like you meant to be, yeah. So and then we'll come back, have a bite to eat, and then we go to. We usually do the workout here, but we'll go to it just because there's, you know, a few others. I think we'll go to a gym so we've got a bit more space. Yeah. And then at that gym, there's a swimming pool as well. So we'll do a bit of a pole workout, and then we'll do a swim. Why not? So you know, sort of six rounds of swimming, sort of like, same as like six rounds of boxing. Yeah. We'll back, have lunch. I then sleep in my hyperbaric <laughs> chamber. <laughs> Which I can, I can clean out quickly and okay. put your own oxygen pipe on and everything. So nice. everything's clean, so you yeah. can have a go on that. Once we're out of there, I'm prepping, I'm getting, I'll do my boxing session. And then straight after that, I do an hour's physio and then I do hot and cold and basically stretch and whatever till about eight, nine o'clock at night. That's okay, day. so I'm going to be doing, as well as doing all of Eddie's like training, regime, recovery stuff, I'm going to be eating his meals as well. So I'm going to be literally doing Eddie Hall's entire day. So I'm excited in the same way that you get excited before you're about to have a <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So let's do a run. <laughs> uh, excellent. Uh, yeah, let's just. Let's just get this over with. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Some kind of intense dog training going on here. So <laughs> Wolf, right, is like a military trained friggin', I don't know, army guard dog. Andy, can you pretend to break into the house? Just to, I want to see him attack someone, it would be cool. Why not? Why don't you just give me a camera, just go and break in. Come on. Oh, okay. So 1.5 miles. 1.4. Okay, nice. 1.4 miles, just under 1.5 miles. And I'll do like a, I'm, I'll wear the vest for a bit. I'll do a token vest gesture. I feel like I, I, we've got a long day, you know, so I need to be realistic, yeah. Quite scary. Okay. Go and set fire to this place. <laughs> I never want to see it <laughs> every of my entire life. Oh, well, that's a good time. Uh, 13 minutes 10. We're in this, yeah. It's like someone's punching you in the stomach every second, like whilst you're running. Okay. How heavy is it? Oh, yeah, actually. 15 kilo. Yeah, like later on, someone is literally going to be punching me oh. in the stomach. On a side note, that is like a calf workout, which explains. <laughs> what is that? That is a joke. They've got to be the biggest cast on the planet. <laughs> oh. Right, so we'll head in, head into the gym quickly. Let's have a five, ten minute stretch. Stretch the calves out, otherwise they'll seize up. So a bit of a stretch and then my wife will have breakfast ready for us. Hero, absolute hero. Come on, get a shot of this fish down here. It literally is. That could be you. If you were a fish, that's you 100%. Okay, straight away there's two plates here. <coughs> Indicates. Right, so start with this one. Oh, what have we done as well? We've got organic mints. So, sorry it sounds to sound like whatever, but every, every single yeah. piece of food or drink I put in my body now is organic. 
So it says organic mints, mushrooms, spinach, eggs. Um, is it 200 gram of mints? Yeah. yeah. 200 gram of mints, and then obviously I've got like a good helping of vegetables, and then we've got 100 gram of oats afterwards. So keep the foil on it, or else it'll go on. Is that just plain oats? Yeah, but then we've got, oh, okay, sick, right, we've sick. got zero calorie salted yeah. caramel sauce, which is banging, by the way. This is a lot of volume. Skinny foods. This is a lot of volume. How many, do you, rough, do you ballpark how many calories you're eating a day, do you reckon? I don't even count, to be honest, but I would say in the region of about six to 7,000, something like that. And that's very, it's all my size. Yeah. That, that's, that's, you know, that's, yeah, I mean, you're a, yeah, a huge guy, to be fair. Eddie's got some water contraption. Eddie, what is this again? Some like monks, so I've got, Jedi yeah. water. So I've got, um, a special filter on the tap called Kang, it's a Kangen filter. Kangen filter, right. And I put filters in before it, so it gets all the crap out, puts it through your system, and it's the most beneficial pH water on the planet. Okay. So literally, to put it plain and simple, you cannot get better drinking water than that. Okay. Is that why your calves are so big? No. We'll find out. I think no. it is. I think that's probably <laughs> the reason why. I don't think I've ever eaten egg with mint, you know, mm. in my entire life. This is a first. I'm excited. Nice. Absolutely nailed it. It's just textbook. Because I've been up for a while now and done some stuff. I'm pretty happy to eat. Like normally in the morning, I'm not hungry at all, but I've had a while to be ready, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think I was just, yeah. This had happened an hour ago. I think you're you're usually a um, toast or cereal man, aren't you? Yeah. From memory. My diet is like a 12 year old boy's diet, basically. <laughs> okay. Element one of the breakfast is done. That was good to be fair, like really good. Um, I think now, now that I'm coming back off, coming off the back of a cut, I'm finding eating far more enjoyable and manageable. Back in the day, it would have been much harder. I say that, we've now got a pretty substantial amount of oats to eat. Mm-hmm. Are you, are you are we training much better after this? Yeah, yeah. So we did a couple of videos, like what, last, I don't know, last year sometime, and you were saying that you love to eat just a, a huge amount of food before you do a strong amount session, wouldn't you? Yeah, I have to. I mean, if you're training for, and it's, it's paid dividends because if you're training for four hours, you have to have train on a full stop. That's true. Like so I just got used to it. So I can I can have a full breakfast, go for a run. I can have a, a full lunch and box. It doesn't like my body's just used to eating and training. You're such a weird guy, Eddie. is a weird guy. Mm. Also, I've used my spoon to eat that. That was a terrible idea, wasn't it? It was. Do you want to swap? Not really. Come on, please. I'm a guest. That would be. You have to eat your porridge with your fork now. That's that's. <laughs> that's I, used, I use that as well. I've used everything. <laughs> I've used everything. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's too late. I'm in. I'm in. It's don't care. He's mince. used it. I'll oh, don't worry. Mint soaps. <laughs> so this sort of caramel is actually uh, pretty banging to be fair. It's really good to be fair. This is this is unreal. This is the best breakfast I've had in a long time. So Eddie's finished. I also I finished some of Eddie's and then <laughs> Off he, he couldn't handle it, so he gave, put some of his in my in my bowl. But I think it's not fair if I eat mine and Eddie's. Also, I've drunk most of my water. You haven't. So technically, I won the breakfast competition, didn't I? In a way. I mean, <clears throat> technically. Yeah, yeah, you fresh me. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're going to a gym. So, yeah, usually I train at home. You know, I've got the gym here, what's the pool at home, but because there's a few others, there's going to be a few camera people for your training partners. So the training partners will now join us. This is the point where I usually meet them in the day. Um, we'll do a bit of a, sort of a bit of a pull workout, sort of upper body, and then we'll do a bit of swimming as well. So we'll do okay. sort of six, six rounds of swimming, I so okay. to say. So boxing, I'm doing six three minute rounds. So in swimming, most days I do six, three minutes of swimming. Usually do some leg drills in the pool as well, but we'll see how we get on for time, because we need to be back for 12 yeah. to get lunch in us. That's what I do. I mean, when I eat loads of porridge and meat, <laughs> I really want to go straight to the gym and do and uh, swim as and well. Swimming perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I normally do it anyway, so that's actually that's perfect. <laughs> Okay, we are in the gym. What's the gym called? The M Club. M Club. The M Club. It's an unlike. Look at this place, mate. This is an unbelievable facility. We're joined by Josh and Paddy. How's it going, guys? You good? Yeah. Why did this? Why? Like, I, I'm quite a tall guy. Yeah. I feel like an absolute dwarf when I'm in these people's company. This is. I'm just going to keep the angle the entire time. Session. I thought we were doing a nice little back and bicep workout. What are we actually doing? We're doing a, a full upper body session, basically. But we'll be doing some legs as well. We do full, uh, full body workouts now twice a week incorporating with our training. Yesterday we did more leg focused, uh, heavy squats, uh, deadlifts, that kind of thing. Today we'll be doing upper body, uh, incline bench, clean and press, and then we'll be finishing on sled just to get our legs destroyed as well before we go swimming. Excellent. Pretty 
right. He he completely ruptured his bicep nine weeks ago. Ed, it was nine weeks ago, wasn't it? Yes. Nine weeks. So nine weeks. What day are we? Tuesday. Nine weeks yesterday, I tore it off. Literally full rupture. The bicep was just was just disconnected, and now he's doing like fairly heavy incline bench pressing. One absolute warming up stuff. One absolute nothing. <laughs> Not only have we done a full upper body workout, we're now, we're now doing some sled pushes. 10 minutes solid, we're not going to let the I missed out, I didn't get the memo on the beast vest. I thought I was slightly out of place. I might just get a red pen and write beast on my chest. I was like, you only have those dreams, those nightmares where you try and run, but like you can't move, or you're moving really slow. That was like one of those 45 minute workout. Let's go home, shall we? No, no, no. Six three minute rounds in the swimming pool now. Has anyone ever drowned in that pool? Before we go in, yeah, we've got to have a protein shake and fruit and orange as well. You ready, bro? There's this two scoops, right? Two scoops and an inorganic orange. I'm saying there's a 70 to 80 percent chance I'm gonna throw up in the pool. <laughs> it's nice, but like I can just feel my stomach just inflating. Peeling an orange while I'm on the daily hall. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Important. So I always go, not the store gun, so we always bite into that one. Bite so through one and then you're in. Is that not a good orange? That was good. Right, well, whilst you uh, eat that, you have got a swimming trunk on. Okay, sit. Well, what's happening now? What are we doing? So, we're going to do, it's so what I do most days, yeah. is I do six three minute rounds of swimming. So, it's sort of like a uh, it's like a cardio drill for the boxing, so it's just to make sure I can manage. Yeah. Basically, to do three, minute, three minutes non-stop is tough. Yeah, 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 good yeah, pace. I mean, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Well, I'll set, I set a, I set a pace. So I do two lengths in yeah. exactly forty-five seconds. All right. So I do six lengths in about two minutes fifteen, and then I'll have a minute rest and then go again. So it's teaching my body to be fit for those six, six three minute rounds. Yeah. I would say in the time it takes me to do six lengths, you'll probably get four in. There what, what stroke are you doing? Front crawl. All front crawl. Yeah. Okay. Oh, if I drown, this has been a great, I've enjoyed YouTube. It's been great making videos over the last seven years. I hope you've enjoyed them. Like the video and subscribe to my channel, please. Let out the beast. Let out the beast. Let out the beast. Two minutes, ten seconds for me. Yeah. Right, two minutes, twenty, twenty-five from that. Combining being tired <coughs> with being in water is a horrible thing. Oh yeah. It's a really uncomfortable feeling. So that's one of six. If you're tired in the gym, you can just sit down. If you're in water, you just you're probably gonna drown. Let out the beast. Let out the beast. Let out the beast. Oh, that is the worst. Oh, yeah, no. Just so scared. Just scared, like, I don't know. I hate the feeling of. I start panicking, do you know what I mean? When I'm tired, but I'm in water. I don't like the combination of those two things. Swimming next to Eddie is like literally swimming next to a fing shark. Like, he's seeing him like, come through the water towards you. It's quite scary. If you had the minute rest, that's 24 minutes solid we've been doing swimming now so at the end we like to get some leg drills in just because we're in buoyancy it's a great way of getting the hips moving and get you get me all loosened up for the boxing later yeah so uh, Pat's gonna take us through some leg drills where that pushing is
We'll do some wide, wide sumo stance, walks first, as fast as you can, I'll be pulling on your bands, creating resistance. So you still need to push your knees out, so usually both of them do it when both have knee bands out. <laughs> Into my right, so we'll do normally do like probably 10 lengths of leg drills. Today we'll do something a bit different. So we, are, we are exerting ourselves quite a bit. So I think just for a bit of fun, we'll do some races. I think all four of us will be doing in this. So basically, nothing on, no bands. It's just a race as fast as you can, hands out the water, touch that side, going forward. Just there, I think. Yeah. Running in water is the gimpiest thing. Like, I feel like I'm doing it. I feel like such a weirdo. Three, two, one. It's so hard to run in water. You just said how easy it was. I know, yeah. <laughs> I got cramped with every part of the Okay, exactly the same, but going backwards. So frustrating trying to run the water. <laughs> That'll do us so now let's just do a few lengths, cool down, just stretch off, swing your hips, swing your arms, just loosen off, head back for lunch, a bit of a nap, and then we've got boxing later, so Okay, sick, so <laughs> I forgot a towel, so that's good. I've just dry myself with the cleaners like blue paper towel. Someone stole my t-shirt, so I'm now just in my shorts. We are in Stoke to be first. <laughs> my t-shirt I need to know where it is because it's literally wrong. Okay Ed is on a call so the mystery of the missing t-shirt lives on. Luckily I brought a backup otherwise I would have been shirtless just for the second half of the video. Um, whilst he's on his call I want to quickly take this opportunity to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video and that is Surfshark. Now in case you're unaware Surfshark is a VPN and a VPN is basically a tool which protects your privacy when using the internet. So stuff like your images, your videos, your documents, all the stuff on your computer you wouldn't want someone else getting your ha their hands on when you use Surfshark you know that stuff is protected. But the coolest thing about Surfshark is that it allows you to change the location from which you are accessing the internet which has loads of benefits. The main one for me being it gives you access to loads of extra content you wouldn't ordinarily get. Now, we've been using Surfshark for a good like, I don't know, like a couple of years now and that's because it's sick. Like the location changing thing is so friggin' handy. Last night, for example, me and Sarah were watching Netflix and all we had to do was change our location to the US and we immediately got loads of US shows and movies and stuff that we wouldn't regularly get. And as well as allowing you to change your location, Surfshark also protects your privacy when using public Wi-Fi. So if you're on holiday or you're just out somewhere and you jump on the Wi-Fi at a cafe or a restaurant or in a friggin' shopping centre, wherever it is, you know that your stuff is covered. And in case you are still not convinced, Surfshark is the only VPN that allows you to use your one account across unlimited devices and they have a 30 day money back guarantee so if you want to give it a go there is literally no risk. Right there will be a link to Surfshark in the description use that link use the code Matt and you will save yourself 83% plus you'll get three months extra for free. You are welcome let's go and get some lunch. Hey did you pick up my t-shirt by chance from the gym? <laughs> I don't think so, man. Well, I, I, literally, I, literally, I literally came home topless. I'm not even joking, I did. Yeah, I'm not you. You absolutely... <laughs> that's an absolute fact. Yeah, that's an absolute fact. I've walked out the gym shirtless. I had to go all the way home. Really. <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah. I had to rush off, but I saw Mark get out, get out of Pat's car with his top off. I was like, it's a bit weird. It's a bit of a rainy day. But whatever, he's to the road. I look like yeah. an absolute dick. So I stole your top. Thanks a lot. Absolutely insane. And we have. Oh, tacos! Hey! Hey! Mm. So you gotta, you gotta eat all these tacos, all the sauce, all the meat, everything's gotta be gone, Matt. Okay? Okay. And then we're gonna go straight to the box, you know? No, we're not. <laughs> oh, 
I'm going to sleep in my boat to have about chamber. It'll be about an hour and a half. So you can feel free to use the house and then I'll be up and we'll start getting ready for boxing. So I'll see you about quarter to three, three o'clock somewhere. Like Just go to sleep for an hour and a half. That is good content for you to get a shot of that. <laughs> yeah, Ed, Andy, can you make a sick edit of Eddie sleeping, please? A time lapse. Mm. <laughs> time lapse, yeah. I mean, that's just a video on its own. Just that's true, actually. That me climbing in, start the video, me yeah. climbing out, finish it, done. That'd be a good one. Hour and a half of pure gold. And it's close, so you can't even see yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> Literally, yeah, you can see a reflection of yourself. <laughs> yeah. Right, lunch is done. It was good. The food today has been sick, to be fair, all over it, apart from the weird, greasy, unopenable orange. Situation currently is as follows. Eddie is asleep. Cool, he's literally just gone to sleep for an hour and a half. So while he's doing that, we're gonna chill out. Uh, then when he gets up, it will be boxing time. What are you saying, Andy? How do you rate my boxing potential? Um, not, not, not great. <laughs> What's your... Brilliant. Hello, Wolf. You all right, mate? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bob. Ah, so weird. So in there, yeah, what's it like? Tell me what it's like being oh. in there. What's it like being in there? Yeah. Feel like? So, the best way to describe it, it's like, uh, so you're like, you, you know when you're on an aeroplane? Yeah. Oh shit. And you're like, you get the pressurising feeling. Yeah. So it's like that, but it's obviously a lot more extreme. So this is two atmospheric pressures, which is about 15 PSI. So it's like, it's like being inside a tractor tire. Do you have to like equalise when you're in there? Yeah, you have to equalise as oh, you go up the pressures and down. Um, right, so <laughs> straight after I woke up from the chamber, it's super important to get some fluids in, get a bit of protein in. Get some food in, get things going as quick as possible. That's um, that's not mine. Do you put it on your face, Ella? No, no, no. You put it on the on that bit between your bollocks and your asshole and your taint. And your taint. Get it on your right. Sorry. Get it on your taint. It's lovely. What is that? On your taint. I felt this surface, I shouldn't be touched, do you know what I mean? I felt, where has that been? I don't really want to touch it anymore. It's been everywhere, man. <laughs> everywhere, you don't want it. We don't want it to be. I have a protein shake since I wake up, so we'll get this down. Are you joining me? Yes. Have you got your water with your voice, mate? Uh... Well, I don't need that, no that noise should not exist. <laughs> <coughs> Next to my head. <laughs> Lovely. Also, for the first time today, I was starting to feel pretty good stomach wise, and now we're just going to reset that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a, one, you know. Literally a top up every hour and a half. Just to keep that little just low level vomit just yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Got it. Right, Eddie's gone to get some more snacks. In the meantime, sorry, this can't, I can't let this slide. This is called Shockmaster 500, and there is a, a vat of lube on top of it. So, and, and these goggles. These three things combined. I can actually, I think you should wear these. I'm fairly confident that Andy wears these and uses this loop and a Shockmaster 500 at least two or three times a day. All right, Matt, so I'm actually a bit weird, mate, but this is my pre-workout for boxing. It's the only treat I get in the day. A Nature Valley Crunchy Oat Bar yeah. and two dairy milks. Okay. So I'm going to eat these and then you're just going to be punching me in the stomach afterwards. Yes. That's absolutely yeah, ideal. That's if anything, I want more. The more stuff in there, the better. That's really good. Yeah. Are you half frequently you need Shock Master 500 and that Louis combo because quite often I heard literally that Thor eats three dairy milk before mm. he drinks. Oh, no. he won. My dad's got a shad. His dad's got two shads. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. <sighs> I'm really for that. Um, so we're gonna finish these. Then Ed doing a bit of boxing. Then we're gonna. That's Eddie. That's me. That's gonna happen in the ring. It's gonna be absolutely exquisite. Wolf in the middle, yeah. Wolf in the middle. Ed's already said he thinks, he's not sure, he said it's hard to tell, but he thinks I'm probably going to be an elite sounder boxer from day one, so. Yeah, my well, Tyson Fury elite. Yeah, yeah, only time will tell that. Right-handed, yeah? yeah. So whatever you feel comfortable with, start at like 10%, 20%. Put it right. There. Make sure you don't hit up here or in the sides. Just hit right in the guts. Okay, so you've you've tested your power on me. Yeah. So I think it's time to test 
I power on you. Or we could just stop. Well, that would have some dinner. That wouldn't be fun, would it? Yeah, this, this, yeah, this must absorb like nine, like so much of the Yeah, bucket. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to try it without, surely. <laughs> no, I mean, no. Oh, <laughs> I'll take a couple of little stomach ones, like little, little ones. Come on, man. Just out of interest. Yeah. <clears throat> Temperature. These are uppercuts. <gasps> oh, and 30 is good. Okay. That is a good number. <laughs> is a good number. Boxing is done. Um, okay. I feel okay. I was scared I was going to get seriously damaged. I feel like I think, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll be wrong, but I think I'll come through unscathed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you uh, do. As I a big, strong guy, mate, so <clears throat> it's, it's a bit different. You know, most people have, have sort of done this where they're like most sort of 78 to kilo. But Ryan Terry was. He's got a big guy. Yeah, he is, actually, to be fair. But well, he didn't take it as well as as well as you did. I'll be honest. On a side note, why are you pretty much naked? Right? <laughs> because I'm I'm just about to go into the spa, so okay. Uh, I'm not covered in sweat. I don't know if you noticed. So, so this is like phase I don't know, 27 of the day. Yeah. We're gonna go. Eddie has just an unbelievable array. Mm. This is like probably like better than the friggin' best labs in the country. Like he does a whole array of like rehab, cryotherapy, friggin' what's I think they're like a hyperbolic. Hyperbaric chamber, cryotherapy chamber, shockwave, uh, internal heat. Oh. Tens machine, we've got the handheld cryotherapy, we've got red light therapy, we've got everything. You retire from boxing, you can just open up a little lab. Oh, 100%. You know, this, back on that. I'm not even kidding when I say this. This is a recovery room that puts any football club in the country to shame. And I mean that. Apart from Arsenal. Arsenal's, I'm telling you, mate, they're unbelievable. Anyway, we're about to go. <laughs> what are we doing now? Hot cold. So, well, usually I, don't, I do an hour's physio, but I've cancelled that because it was just a bit boring for, for content. So, we're just going to go into my spa. <clears throat> I've got a, a swim spa in there, a hot tub, a cold tub, a sauna. Might seem daft, but a sunbed. Now, sunbed's a big thing for health and sort of vitamin D and keeping yourself mm. getting healthy. So, I just did two minutes on a sunbed every day as well and do my hot and cold treatment, stretch off. Uh, and that for about two hours. Two minutes on somebody every day? Look Quite a pasty. Pay, pay less, how is that possible? <laughs> I thought it's not working. You've got to crank it up. Yeah. That's not fake bulbs. bulbs. Fake bulbs, that's what it is. <laughs> right, Matt, this is my spa, mate. So, we've got infinity pool, so we've got a powerful current that you swim against. Which is obviously, you know, you just swim against it, it's, yeah. it's like an infinity pool. That's how I do. Hot up. That goes up to four. That can go up to forty degree. But I'll keep that at thirty six. I keep this one at forty. So that's a hot tub. And I've got a cold tub that's set at five degree centigrade. And that's just like ridiculous. That's quite cold. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a six person sauna that's just warming up now. That goes up to ninety degree centigrade. So the contrast is quite harsh. And then I've got the sunbed, shower, toilet in there. So that's like it's like a full, full sort of full. <laughs> All sort of recovery. So, as uh, if this is in your house, this is ridiculous. It's amazing. Yeah, so well, who has this in their garden? That's so mad. Have it. That so, uh, must insist before we get in that we both get showered. Yeah, together. Get the yeah together. Yeah, get trunks on. Yeah, bit of bum <laughs> and then we get going. <laughs> Cut that out of the video. Do not use that in the video. <laughs> oh, I actually wasn't very satisfied. I thought it was being, I thought there'd be much better connection than that. What's the plan here? We're just jumping in. Yeah, so, uh, so I use this as like a bit of a stretching tool. So it, it's, it's really warm, so it's great for limbering up. But there's some jets. There's jets that I use, so when I have physio, obviously it breaks your muscle tissue down, so you repair very good strands to put down physio, yeah. help you sort of recover quickly. Mm. Well, I've got some jets here that, so what, what he can't reach, the jets will. You'll know, see what I mean. <laughs> that sounds, I mean, I won't lie, that sounds a bit sketchy. Yeah, it is, it is exactly what, what you think as well. <laughs> Oh, that's quite hard to get in there. Yeah, that's pretty sick. So I usually do two cycles in here and then start doing the hot and cold. So for hot and cold, we do is basically as long as you can in the sauna. Yeah. So as long as literally until you pass out, yeah. and then you jump in the cold. And it's, I've got a timer on the wall, so you do four and a half minutes in, in the cold. If you, so if you last four and a half minutes, like I will be impressed. For a first, <laughs> for a first timer, okay. I will be very impressed because I don't think you will. Okay. That's a, I mean, that's a challenge straight away. Okay. Right, so we've done 15, 20 minutes in there, just work like, I'll, I'll, I'll probably loosen that it up. That was quite 50, I feel a bit drained now. So what we'll do now then, we'll go uh, basically as long as you can. I'll tell you what, I'll have a dip in there first. Uh, Jump okay. in, brace it, go like, get, your, get your head under. Andy, put your hand in there quickly. I just want to get some... That's ice cold. That's very cold. That's very cold. So then it's just, just like, get your head under and then we'll go in the sauna. 
Oh. Oh, that's pretty cold. Son of a bitch. Okay. <clears throat> Just right now, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go quick. We'll have it come out in five minutes. Can you please come in? We'll like bring someone. Right. Doing a good oh, 20 minutes in the sauna, so we're now gonna do four and a half minutes in the cold. And you probably best turn around facing that way sitting on that step. <laughs> So this is so good for you though, like the contrast between hot and cold, it's, it's like expanding and, 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 and yeah. what do you call it? Dilating and, and Dilating and strict, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the capillaries and everything. So it's so good for like your circulation, mental yeah. health, and, like, and, and you'll find you'll sleep like an absolute baby tonight doing this. <laughs> yeah, but sleep's so not going to be an issue tonight. <laughs> I don't want to get a good amount of sleep. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh. You're right there. <laughs> really cold. I thought I was gonna sit here for a little bit of chill. Um, okay, that's the hot cold done. I think we're gonna have dinner and then I guess we're out. <laughs> Just need a bit longer here. So, dinner, we've got to get a train fairly soon, so we're doing an expedited version. So I've got uh, honey and sesame chicken, and then halloumi with black sesame. Pretty solid array, to be fair. I think I've nuked it because I didn't pierce holes in it. It's Andy Svolks, he distracted me. It's gonna be really hot, isn't it? Pretty hot. Okay. I'm going to eat these two, and then we're heading to the station. So I'm going to wind the video up here. Eddie, I massively appreciate you having me, mate. No. It's been awesome. Absolute pleasure, as always. Yeah. It's just, yeah, like I keep saying it, but it's just, yeah. The amount of shit you do in a day is literally insane. Well, it's, like, it's my full-time job. You know, yeah. you, you, you... Well, what's your full-time job? <laughs> I don't really around, just around, around, around making weird content. Trip, yeah. This is my full-time job. I'm a full-time boxer, you know, so I, and yeah. I take things seriously. Yeah. I like you literally couldn't be any more of a full-time boxer. Like, there's literally nothing else. If you're making a list of things you could do as a boxer, I feel like Eddie just exhausted that list. But yeah, no, I appreciate it, mate. It's been awesome. Thanks for having me, dude. Okay. There'll be a link to Eddie's channel in the description. Go and check him out. He's a sick guy. That is the video done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't seen the last video, the boxing one, go and watch that. It's pretty funny. It's just me getting absolutely battered by the horse. So go and watch it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh.